This week's Sedra is Sedros Achremos. There are two types of fear of God. There is the healthy fear of God, which encourages a person to draw close to God and observe the Torah and Mitzvot. The second type of fear of God is unhealthy. And this second type of fear causes a person to be so scared of God, they distance themselves from God and from authentic Torah observance by relying on false practices not consistent with the Torah's wisdom. It is crucial that a person develops a healthy fear of God so they can observe the Torah properly. In this week's Torah portion, we learn about an unhealthy approach to fear of God. We learn the following psukim. God spoke to Moshe saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons and to all the Israelite people and say to them, This is what God has commanded. If anyone, the house of Israel, slaughters an ox, sheep, a goat in the camp, or does so outside the camp, and doesn't bring it to the entrance of the tent of the meeting to present it as an offering to God before God's tabernacle at the Mishkan, guilt shall be imputed to that party. Having shed blood, that person shall be cut off from among his people, and that they may offer their sacrifices no more to their idolatrous Seirim, after whom they stray. This shall be a law for all times throughout the ages. Now our Torah scholars have a shocking explanation for these idolatrous Seirim. Rashi says that the idolatrous Seirim are actually demons. And along the same lines, lines excuse me, the Sforno explains, the Pusik prohibits offering sacrifices to the demons, even though they were not being equated with deities in any manner. But they were considered only as creatures that can be employed by their human masters. They even used to employ such demons for errands to distant countries. These scholars' interpretations seem mystical and antithetical to Judaism's rational approach. How can we understand their comments? Very strange. The Rambam wrote, 13 fundamentals of faith every Jew must maintain to be true. The fifth fundamental principle is that God is the one that is fitting to serve and to exalt and to make his greatness known and to do his commandments, not to serve or praise that which is below him in existence, from the angels and the stars and the spheres and the elements and what which is composed of them. As they are all designed, and there is no judgment and no free choice in their actions, only to God may God be blessed. And so too, it is not fitting to serve them in order that they be intermediaries to bring them closer to God, but rather to God alone should they direct their thoughts and leave everything besides Him. This is the fifth principle that also includes idolatry, worshiping others, that is prohibited, and most of the Torah is a prohibition of idolatry. Using an intermediary between you and God violates the direct relationship people have with God. Using intermediaries is how idolatry started. As the Rambam wrote, during the times of Enosh, mankind made a great mistake. This is around after Noah. And the wise men of that generation gave thoughtless counsel. Enosh himself was one of those who erred. Their mistake was as follows. They said, God created stars and spheres with which, which to control the world. He placed them on high and treated them with honor, making them servants who minister before God. Accordingly, it's fitting to praise and glorify them and to treat them like, with honor, almost like as ambassadors. They perceive this to be the will of God, blessed be he, that they may magnify and honor those whom he magnified and honored, just as a king desires that the servants who stand before him be honored. Indeed, doing so is an expression of the honor to the king is what they thought. But they were mistaken, and our Sedra warns us against using idolatrous Syrian, which Rashi and Sforno explains were demons, and I believe mean were intermediaries between the Jews and God. Using an intermediary is a form of an unhealthy fear of God. A person is scared of God, and instead of praying directly to God, they act irrationally and pretend that metaphysical creatures can help them. A person is commanded to serve God directly, not have an unhealthy fear of God. It's an important lesson that isn't stressed too often. I think it's a great takeaway from this week's Torah portion. Shabbat Shalom.